Hello, and welcome back to the Temple of Elemental Evil. Let's find out about buying a house. A gnarled old man with a hook replacing one hand looks up at you, unfriendly. What do you want? I'm Lucian, who are you? None of your damn business, that's what I say. You keep to ourselves in these parts. Now just go away, you bother me. Uh, let's see... Okay, I, I think this is going to be sense motive, so, uh... I sense you are in great pain. How can I help? Looks at you strangely. How'd you know that, boy? Yeah, I got this tooth. It hurts like hell. Now get lost. Alright, so he's got, uh, dental problems. Is there no one in town who can help with your toothache? It's one of them river pirates, a guy named Bertram. Dresses real nice. They say he can fix teeth, but he's charging me way too much. Can't afford him. And he's the only one around. Why don't you have enough money? Looks down. Well, this is kind of embarrassing. My, uh, guild expects me to collect for them. I have to collect from that mystic Mona, but she's been robbed and she don't have enough left. I don't get paid unless I collect. Alright, well, this might help out with the uh, negotiations for the house later on, so I suppose I can go talk to this Mona and see if I can help. That'd be mighty kind of you, stranger. Mighty kind. Here's a gold piece for your trouble. Now move along. Alright, yeah, what the hell, we'll uh, take the gold piece. We'll take his tip. Alright, so he's apparently trying to muscle money out of some uh, shriveled old hag who's a mystic, and he's uh, not up to the task, so we have to we have to go in his place. That's right, we're going to start pushing around old ladies now. Alright, and I think she's down here. Yeah, there she is. Alright, so here's the mystic Mona. Let's see what she has to say. An older woman in a torn and dirty dress shakes her fist at you. I have nothing left. Nothing remains for you thieves to loot. Now leave me be. Uh, you mean there's nothing left at all? Spits in the dirt. Uh, <laughs> No, there's nothing left at all. Now if that head of yours holds half a brain, you leave old Mona alone before a militia shows up and takes you out to the city limits. Um, perhaps you can tell me about this little village. This is no place to run business. If you want to make store, you go someplace else, I think. I would not trust no one here. Does, if you parse that, does that actually mean she would trust... Anyway, uh, maybe that pirate Grud, he seems a good man. She burns a stare through you, but trust no one else. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Good luck to you. Well, that puts a damper on our plans for the house. Let's talk to her again. Ah, so you have returned to see Mona. Or did you come to mock me further? She... Okay, she spit. <laughs> um... I do not come to mock you. You are clearly a woman of many talents, and I believe that you may be able to help me. Now, how can I help you? Perhaps you're right. We can help each other. I'm a mystic. I see visions of the future, but I must have my orb or the visions do not materialize. Uh, what happened to your orb? I get shut down. I have a big place. Many people work for me. Yeah, that's, that's apparent. You're basically standing outside on a, uh, what looks like a small bridge. Then one day, this knave is not happy with our services. He sneaks in at night and steals my orb, the orb of... Sa. I cannot work without it, but this I tell you already. Uh, who, uh... Who took this orb of Sa? He thinks not I know who he is. Jeez, she talks like Yoda. But I see him. Him I can still see, even with no orb. His name is Mickey. He comes here at night, but he lives in Hamlet. I smell beer on his clothes. I think he makes beer. Well, okay. Um, okay, I'll, yeah, we'll try to get this, uh, we'll seek out Mickey and see if we can get this, uh, orb of Saw back. It is your destiny to find him and return my orb to me, I think. Go with Ralishaz. Okay. 
All right, so we've got whoever the hell Rala Shaz is on our side. We have his blessing, or her blessing, apparently, as we go to seek out Mickey to try to get the orb back. Then hopefully she can start her business up again and uh, be able to repay uh, the old guy with the hook. All right, I think Mickey, yeah, it's still night, so he should be, yeah, there he is. All right, he's lurking around down here, covered in the stench of beer. All right, we just want to make this quick, so let's, instead of having Lucian talk to him, we're going to have Catriona. She can hopefully uh, intimidate him. A beaten young man tries to hide his face from you. Oh, oh, uh, hello. Do I know you from someplace? I, I don't think so. I'm Mickey. I actually work for the Braumeister back in Hamlet, but please don't let him know you saw me here. We've had some... coughs. Uh, <sighs> problems out here. Uh, Mickey? Then you're the one who stole Mona's orb. Yes, I, I, I scared off most of them gypsies too, but they did not pay me because those two refused to leave. So I kept that orb. They can beat me up all they want, but that orb is mine. Um, you know, just, just return the damn orb. He looks very defensive. Now, now look here. I don't know who you are, but I paid the price for that orb, and now it's mine. Now, go away. All right, and then we can intimidate him. Uh, you leave me no option but to forcefully take back the orb. Ha! You cannot force me to do anything. <laughs> okay, and then she goes all uh, WWF on his ass. Uh, put him in a stranglehold and start to choke him. I'm taking that damn orb now. Okay, so she takes it away from him pretty easily. He looks at you very frightened. Y yes, I, y you can take the orb. She actually already took it. I I'm not ready to die for all time. All this. Uh, it's not worth it. I, I, I think it's best for me to go back to Hamlet. Maybe, maybe it's not so boring there, after all. You just got mixed up with the wrong crowd, Mickey. Stick to Hamlet from now on. Farewell. Alright, and he just vanishes into thin air. Presumably going back to uh, work at the brewery. Alright, let's return the orb to Mona. And she'll be free to continue in her charlatan ways. Hello again. Have you been able to find the orb? Uh, yes, I have it now. It's yours. Ah, my precious orb, the orb of Sa. With this, I will be able to divine the future once more. Thank you for this. Uh, just, just a few more questions. How can I help you, friend? With your orb, are you able to establish your business again? It's good to have the orb back, yes, but they have taken everything. I have no gold to buy back my store goods to sell. It will be many moons before I have again what once was mine. Okay, and then you can donate some gold. Now, we're, we're not going to part with any cash for this. Uh, I mean, we could afford to, but I... <laughs> I think the uh, the sorceress would uh she'd probably uh strangle Lucian if he took out any money and gave it to Mona. So uh well good luck with that. Farewell. Okay. Let's go back and tell uh let's tell I think his name was Preston that we've gotten Mona back in business and he's free to extort money out of her now for his, uh, what do you say, guild? For his, for his, uh, the group of, uh, river pirates that he's fallen in with. Alright, here we go. Leave old Preston alone now, will ya? Uh, Mona should be able to pay you now. I've helped her out. Great news, kid. Now I can pay to get my tooth fixed. You're a big help, you know? Anything I can do for you? Can I ask you some other questions? What do you need, kid? You know, he's a half-elf. He There's a good chance that he's actually older than this, uh, this old fart. Um, 
I hear you might be able to sell me a house here in Nulb. I got a little shack right next door here. Might be perfect for you. Locks up tighter than a drum. Safest place you'll find around these parts. What do you say then? Um, okay, let's start negotiating. Uh, nothing in these parts can be worth that much. How much are you charging? I'd maybe go as high as 500. You drive a hard bargain, Lucian, but I'll sell it to you for 500 then. Sure, why not? You've got yourself a house in Nulb. Enjoy it. Thank you. Alright, so now we've got a uh, cozy little place to hang our hats in between adventures, and this is it. This is our new estate. Okay. So, as you can see, it. What is it? It has a couple of chests for storage. That's really convenient. Um, it has a little workbench, an oven. It's got a cozy little fire. Rather small bedroom, and, uh, well, well, I guess as, as for the facility, I guess we have to go uh, ass naked out the window when nature calls. Um, anyway, so this is kind of a useful place. Um, it, it, I, I think it's worth the money. It's a useful place to use as a base for operations. Nulb is, is going to turn out to be a lot more convenient than Homlet. Nulb doesn't actually have an inn where you can rest. Uh, like Hamlet does, uh, so this, I, I just, I pretty much always buy this place, I think it's worth the money, we'll end up having plenty of cash.